brought some postcards. Could you tell me a little bit about them? Well, these postcards were Aunt Louie's. My Aunt Louie's or my wife's Aunt Louie's. And they were found underneath her bed when we moved her from Grimsby down to Ludham to live with us. And they were all in tagedy, tagedy old books and everything. So they all fell apart as so I took them out. And when I looked at them, she said to me, they're yours if you want to look at them. Who was Louie Smith? She was born in Halvigat on the 2nd of August 1895 and baptised on 8th of September 1895 and she later died at Ludham in 17th of May 1991, aged 95 years. Tell me about Sam Gow. Sam, Sam was born in Yarmouth and he, up to 22 years of age, he was, he was uh, a wood, wood sawer and a box maker for some fish company in Yarmouth. And then he moved to Pelham Street in, in Grimsby with his mother who'd, who'd already lost her husband and two, two sons and a daughter. And uh, he, from then on was he, he went into the army 4th of July 19, 1916. This is, this is a photo of Louis when she was in her younger days, about 20, 20 some odd then. What do they say to each other? Well, all, all the cards have got songs on the front of them. And as you come round, like this one, what Louis sent to Sam, I Love My Motherland, is the name, is the name of the song. And on the back, she's written things such as, Hope you are finding you all in the best of health and leaving things right to the until I see you later on. Could you tell me about this postcard? <clears throat> this card is one sent, sent from Sam to Louis to tell... Well, all our leave is stopped, as there is a lot of us going to be released, and we will let you know by letter which is to follow. And the funny part about it is a funny card. Thin passage is a good thing for you, they don't charge by weight. And the fat passenger said, well, if they did, it would pay them to stop and pick you up. Then we go back to 1916 here, where we come across two which... She had boyfriends before Sam, it seemed. This one is from Frank, and he sent her... England expects every man to do his duty, and it shows a load of women's clothes on the Yarmouth lawn at Yarmouth. <laughs> <laughs> and the other one is... Young man, don't you think you look better in khaki? Yes, sir. Hence, he, he should have been in the, in the army. And on the back, he puts, Let me thank you for your gift of lips and for taking the liberty of kissing you, accept my apologies. See you again, and thank you personally, your friend Jeff. And that says, Great Scott, 80 around the chest, pass him a A1. And that is hoping you, through lines, will find you best of health, with best wishes from Louis. These cards are unusual. They're embroidered. Could you tell me about them? They are, they are birthday cards. Sometime towards the end of the war and just after the war, what they sent to one another, Sam and Sam, one is from Sam to Lou and the other one's from Louis to Sam. What does this postcard mean? That is Aunt Louis sent sent a, this postcard to Sam. He was he was in the army and the war was still on and she was on she was going on holiday to Louth. Who sent this to who and why? Aunt Louis sent this to Sam because Sam was in hospital. And she thought that might cheer him up. Keep your hair on, it says. I see it says the 11th of November. Could you tell me what happened on the 11th of November? Well, the 11th of November 1918 is when, when the First World War finished. And this was, this was sent by Sam to Louis to tell her that the war is over. <laughs> 